What's going on everybody? I am Alexi from Adventurographer and today we are going to take a look at 5 must-have camera accessories for every filmmaker and a photographer. At number 1 on our list we have a tripod because nobody likes shaky video footage or noisy blurry pictures and a tripod is the easiest way to fix those. A tripod also makes it possible to film yourself, like I am doing right now, or uh, taking group pictures uh, where you yourself are also in. A tripod also enables you to take uh, clean, long exposure shots like these, even in low light conditions. It's also very helpful while shooting uh, panoramas, HDR, time lapses and so on. Depending on your needs, you might be able to get away with using just a small table tripod like this. But uh, what I'm using most of the time is this uh, Sirui carbon fiber travel tripod, which is still extremely small and light, but it just gives you so much uh, more height to work with. If portability is not an issue, then you probably want the biggest and sturdiest tripod uh, you can find for a good price. In the middle ground uh, there are Gorilla Pods, which are really uh, versatile because you can mount them almost anywhere to get some angles that you otherwise couldn't. Okay, let's say you have the tripod and you want to start taking those long exposure shots and you press the button to take the picture and even with a tripod that one single touch can actually introduce some subtle camera shake that will make your final image blurry and that's where the number two item on our list comes in oh uh, number two on our list comes in a remote shutter release so you don't need to even touch the camera to take the picture and this way you can completely eliminate uh, any camera shake a remote is also very helpful in those situations uh, where you yourself are in front of the camera and you want to remotely uh, start or stop recording. If your camera doesn't have a time-lapse feature built in, then you probably want something called an intervalometer, uh, which is basically a remote that can also program your camera to take multiple pictures uh, during a period of time. If you're willing to pay more, there are all kinds of gadgets available that allow you to take pictures based on sound or light and so on. But in most cases, a simple remote uh, or interval meter is enough. At number three, we have a camera strap. And no, I'm not talking about the strap that comes with your camera. I am using multiple straps from Peak Design. Uh, these are some of the most comfortable straps you can find anywhere and they also, among other benefits, allow you to attach and detach the strap with your camera super fast, which makes a huge difference compared to a default camera strap that comes uh, with your camera. I already made a full video about pig design straps, so instead of talking about them again, I just recommend you to check out that video. There should be a link to that uh, right about here. By the way, if you're interested in buying any of Peak Design's products, make sure to use the special link in the description or the discount code ADVENTURE to get a 10% discount on your order from uh, Peak Design's website. At number 4 we have a foldable reflector and diffuser. Uh, these are super cheap, they weigh nothing and they can make all the difference in your videos and photos. YouTube is full of tutorials on how to use this, but basically a reflector is a reflecting surface that can bounce and guide light uh, to fill in shadows that otherwise would be too dark. This one has a golden side to get a warmer look and a silver side uh, to get a little bit cooler look. And if I remove this shiny cover, then I can make the harsh sunlight go through this semi-transparent diffuser to create a much more flattering and soft light instead. By the way, I have put Amazon links to all of these products I have shown you uh, to the video description below. So if you are interested in actually getting any of this stuff, uh, make sure to use those links. Lastly, we have a microphone. And I know this is only for video, but if you are a filmmaker, then you need to get a proper microphone instead of using your camera's built-in one. 
audio is just as important as video and for less than 50 bucks you can improve it a lot. If you are recording lots of talking by yourself, then one of these small uh, lavalier microphones uh, is one of the best options because it gets so close to your mouth uh, so you can get very clear audio even in noisy environments or when the camera is a little bit further away from you. If you are vlogging or just want good all-around uh, audio from your camera, then a shotgun microphone like this Rode video mic is a good option. For ambient sound recording, you might want to consider a small uh, external recorder. Okay, that's it for now, but uh, I actually had 10 items on the original list for this video. So if you are interested in seeing those missing 5 items as well, uh, make sure to leave me a comment below and maybe I'll try to do a part 2 with those. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you in the next video.